Uh, great stuff. Welcome back once again. I know it's been long uh, uh, ever since I've posted the session, but here is it today. I just want us to focus on this uh, challenging question. It's, it's where I will introduce to you this strategic approach and it, it really speaks to your understanding on arithmetic and quadratic sequences. And uh, it's about showing that no term will be a perfect square. And this was extracted from your Department of Basic Education past papers. Okay, let's go. Okay, here's the question. Given the arithmetic sequence 2, 5, 8, show that no term will be a perfect square. Mm. Okay, so in order to prove this, you must really understand first what is a perfect square, right? So, you know, example of perfect square, zero is a perfect square, you can write it as zero squared. One is a perfect square, you can write it as one squared. Four is a perfect square, it can be written as two squared. Nine is a perfect square, it can be written as three squared. Sixteen is a perfect square, it can be written as four squared. Can you see? And many more. So, those are some examples of what? Of perfect square. So, they are saying in this sequence that is going, which is an arithmetic sequence, show that no term will be what will be a perfect square okay so how do we do this so what we do is we we let our tn to be a perfect square and go and calculate n right so if no term will be a perfect square when you calculate n you must get an element of not a natural number right okay so if, if there's going to be a term that's going to be a perfect square, then our n must be an element of a natural number, right? So that's what you basically do. Very simple in that sense. Someone might be confused to say, what are you saying? An element of natural number, n not element of natural number. What is that? Okay. So if we are saying, if there's a perfect square, right, I'm going to just let my tn to be a perfect square. I want to remember, I want to show that no term in this sequence will be a perfect square. In other words, we use a, this strategic approach. You let your Tn to be perfect square. Then you go and calculate N, right? You are calculating the position. And your position, to show that no term will be a perfect square, it means you won't get any position when your Tn is equals to what? Is equals to a perfect square. That's what I'm saying. You won't get any position because there's no term that's going to be a perfect square. Hence, the question says, show that no term will be what? Will be a perfect square. Okay. So, what I'm going to do first is to calculate my Tn in my arithmetic sequence. So, I have 2, 5, 8. And we know the common difference there is 3. The common difference is 3. Okay. So, my Tn is equals to A plus what? N minus 1D. Remember, this is the Tn for arithmetic sequence. So what is my a, the first term, which is 2, n minus 1, what is my common difference is 3. Okay, so it will be 2 plus 3, n minus 3, then tn will be 3, n minus what? Minus 1. So that's my tn for what? For arithmetic sequence. Okay, so after calculating tn, what do we do? Remember, we have to show that no term will be a perfect square. So we are going to solve this using this strategic approach. I'll let my Tn to be a perfect square, to be perfect square. And I'll call this perfect square what? K squared. So where K is the element of what? Of natural numbers. Remember, in a sequence, n must be an element of natural number. So here we used k, so we'll say where k must be an element of what? Of natural number, right? It means where there is tn, I'm going to replace with what? With k squared is equals to 3n minus 1. Remember, we have to show that no term will be a perfect square, right? We are going to calculate n now, right? Remember, if there is a perfect square, it means that n must be an element of what? n must be an element of natural number if there must be a, if this sequence has a perfect square. Hence, we equated the sequence with a perfect square. We want to check if there's a perfect square. So when you calculate n, if you get n as an element of natural number, it means the position for a perfect square exists. But if you get n is not an element of natural number, it means that the position for, an, for, for a perfect square do not exist. Hence, no term will be a perfect square. So 
in that step really you're just simply gonna calculate what n so to solve for n I take one to the other side then basically divide by 3 because you'll be left with 3n equals to k squared plus 1 then you divide by 3 both sides your n is equals to what k squared plus 1 over 3 okay so remember we said what where k is the element of what of natural numbers right so it means that where there is k i can put any natural number don't forget natural numbers are one two three four five going forth like that right so those are natural numbers so where there is k i'm just gonna let k equals to any natural number because k is the element of a natural number so i can put one because one is a natural number. so it's one squared plus one over three this give me two over three can you see when I calculate n, I'm getting 2 over 3. And we know that 2 over 3 is not what? Is not an element of what? Of a natural number. So my n is not an element of a natural number. So when I let my tn to be a perfect square k squared, I'm getting that there is no position that's going to be existing on this sequence. It means that indeed no term will be what? Will be perfect squared. Therefore, we can conclude. Therefore, no term will be perfect square no term will be a perfect square so that's that's how you solve this and this is just a strategic approach to this question and i hope you understood if you didn't understand just replay this video and you will just internalize this knowledge okay okay that's it just wanted you to learn that strategic approach and i hope you enjoy it thank you very much for watching Enjoy the rest of your day and goodbye.